<laughs> your mental model was small bricks. Mm. And I called this bricks versus giant slabs. Mm. So if you're building, uh, say you're building a cathedral or you're building um, Stonehenge or something, you can use giant, maybe not a cathedral, but you're building Stonehenge, you can use giant slabs of material. That's kind of what working with WordPress is like. That's what working with somebody else's library that wasn't built for what you're doing is like. I like it. Small bricks can be used to build a giant castle or a cathedral or, you know, ornate house. But because they're smaller bricks, you have a lot more flexibility. And it's, it is more work to come up with how to use them initially. But once you have certain patterns, uh, you can just say, well, we want this entire gigantic wall to be made of these small bricks in this pattern. And it's not that much more work than having a giant slab. I like this. I like the way that you, you've you used Stonehenge uh, for the giant slab because... Stonehenge itself is complete. It's a complete product with giant slabs. Yeah. So it's a super simple product. It's complete and it's made of giant slabs. And a castle is a very complicated product that's complete and it's made of small, smaller bricks or stones. I like it. I like it. Yeah. So that's. And it, uh... it, but but it would be a lot harder to build. And this is this is kind of a, a good thing. It would be a lot harder to build. A, a, a giant castle, sorry, a, a castle with those giant slabs. I mean, it would be super difficult. Oh, yeah. Well, it'd feel like you were going really fast. And then eventually you'd be like, oh, wait, no, we need a different one. It's a little bit different shape. And then we've got to go to the plug-in store and see if they have a slab that's like this. And then, But it's, know, that's just... a kind of great analogy. It's, it's something that, like, all developers ultimately face. It's like, okay, am I going to build this from scratch so that I can get exactly what I want? Or am I going to build it based on libraries? And then it's really easy to get 80%, but the last 20% takes so long. Yeah, um, I, I really feel for my, my buddy Liam of the uh, Create, Your, or Create Your World podcast. He's a uh, like really bright guy, like good at language learning, but mostly non-technical. And he's building a new project, and he's basically just been just churning over like which WordPress plugin do I need? Which theme do I need? Which, which things will support all the features I need for my site? What if later I want to add like some social features to it? Like how do I avoid backing myself into a corner? I've seen a a few people start out that way and then they just end up programming WordPress. You know how you program WordPress through arrays? You know, I don't know if you've ever done it. Yeah, but they just end up customizing WordPress. Yeah. (laughs) And it's difficult. Post programmer, I haven't done much with WordPress. 